I think our history here is really important. You can't tell the history of Minnesota or really the history of the United States without telling uh, the story that happened here. We're sitting in a building that's on the site of a treaty uh, in 1851 between the Dakota Nation and the United States government. We have a letter from Thomas Van Etten who was a soldier uh, who was in the Battle of uh, Birch Coulee, which was uh, one of the battles in the U.S.-Dakota War. We have a copy of the bill uh, that would have made St. Peter the capital of Minnesota. And we really do have uh, unique items in the collection that really help tell the history of America. And the reality is that the vast majority of Americans wouldn't know they're here, wouldn't know we're here uh, without uh, the Digital Public Library of America. The Digital Public Library of America is providing greater access to the materials that heretofore have been kept in these county and local historical societies. The Digital Public Library of America, by aggregating metadata and by making uh, this information discoverable, really takes the content that we have uh, in the Minnesota Digital Library, some content that we have in the Minnesota Historical Society, and it throws open the door for people to find it from across the country and across the globe. To me, this is going to make it possible to bring our archives alive. We're talking about material coming from cultural organizations, small local county historical societies, museums, universities, uh, national archives, uh, the Smithsonian, Harvard, for example. It's helping us get our information out there, but it's, it, it's doing something more fundamental than that. It's, it's, it's really exciting people about history. We have for 10 years now been about access how do we help organizations across the state share what they have? Um, and this will give us a chance to share on a national platform. As the outreach coordinator, I travel across the state working with organizations that are interested in working with us, helping them digitize their collections, helping them provide access to those collections through the Minnesota Digital Library for the people of Minnesota. And it's sort of through these outreach efforts that we think we can bring more people into the Digital Public Library of America and in turn make this more about the public's library. And I think that these tools, the Minnesota Digital Library, Digital Public Library of America, are going to um, help us um, build and preserve and honor this contemporary experience and preserve it in a way that's going to enrich this community building. We're really looking beyond just sort of aggregation and digitization to looking for new forms of community engagement, be this documentary photography, oral histories, uh, videos. I think there's a tremendous Im impact and, uh, and benefit to the public uh, to uh, be able to have all of these resources on the Digital Public Library of America. I mean, they really have America at their fingertips. The most fundamental benefit to the public is the ability to, to discover information about cultural Heritage. The bottom line truth for me as an individual is that I know I'm passing down to future generations very, very exciting information and important information about who we are and how we got to be where we are. And that's a story that 100 years from now people are still going to be asking. We're telling our local history, but we're really looking to uh, link that and, and relate that to a national story. And I think that participation in things like the Digital Public Library of America help help us do that. And, and we're not just telling our individual stories, but together we're really telling the story of America.